Today, the mighty return of the Spectre Diver. But wait, that's not a diver. Well, that's because this is the chronograph version of HVD's Hit Diver. And if you're not aware, HVD stands for Hand Wound Vintage Design. And if you're someone with a type, this might just be the brand you've been waiting for. Introducing the all new HVD Spectre Diver Chronograph, a bi compax panda design. And it's spectacular. Let's kick things off by talking about the unique shape. You have tall, brushed, flat sides with a striking, sizable, high polished bevel that was pretty synonymous with the Spectre Diver. However, on the chronograph version, the bevels are a tad narrower, yet still exude that trademark allure. And would you just look at the way the bevel takes a 90 degree downturn at the lug tips? I don't think I've ever seen that before, and I'm a fan. The bevel then takes another right turn, and it continues on the bottom of the case, creating a continuous highlight that really shows off the Spectre's bold profile. This is interrupted slightly in the midsection with that sunken in bezel. And speaking of that bezel, it offers a dual time function allowing you to easily track a second time zone. The Spectre's bezel exudes a vintage charm courtesy of that aluminum insert which has silver printed batons and alternating arabics. I am liking that uncluttered clean aesthetic. Now the question arises. What's the tactile experience and how does it sound? So it's a 60 click bi-directional with a very smooth responsive action. It's light and quiet, feels like maybe a ball bearing mechanism. For this type of bezel tracking two time zones, I have no complaints. Now let's do those dimensions. I got 39 millimeters on the case, 40 on the bezel, and the secret measurement, 31.5 millimeters. We got a thickness of 15 even, including that boxed and double domed Hesalite crystal. HVD is saying on their website 11.5 plus 2 for the dome, so that should be 13 and a half. It could be because it's a prototype or we're measuring on different spots, but I put my calipers on the center peak of the double dome. Now we got drilled lugs and a lug to lug of 47.3. Okay, so excellent dimensions, but you guys be the judge on the faraway shots and let me know how it wears on my 17 centimeter wrists. Now let's talk about something I appreciate in watches. A large, easy to use crown. This one is push pull and it comes in at 7.5 millimeters. It also has the same grip as the bezel, that cogwheel grip. And it's even signed with the HVD logo. This Spectre Diver is no diver. It only has 50 meters of water resistance, but for a chronograph, it's not bad. Let's take a look at the back and check out the movement. There she is, and if you know me, I always complain about a see-through case back. But in this case, I'll allow it. We got a see-through mineral display case back, and with the Seagull ST19, it really makes sense. Because with the ST19, you can actually see the gears and levers working. It looks so alive, I love it. All right, fine, I'll talk about the elephant in the room. I know you've seen the scratches on that crystal. Well, this watch is vintage inspired, so of course it has Hesalite, and it's a generously sized box double dome, which means it sticks out and there's no way around it, you're going to get scratches. Polywatch will get rid of them, but at the time of filming, I unfortunately ran out. Let's not forget, Hesalite does have some advantages and vintage lovers do prefer it. It has incredible distortion that Sapphire can't match and it eliminates that milky white ring that you get with a boxed Sapphire. I find the Hesalite less reflective and it does add some warmth to the watch. If you've never had this type of crystal before, I say try it. 
Now we skipped over that bracelet. Let's go back. We have one piece links oyster style 20 millimeters tapering down to 16. It is completely brushed except for a little high polished lip on the top side edges. The bracelet is held together via screws and the thickness of each link is 3.5 millimeters. The clasp is fully milled with a twin button release with three micro adjustments. Guys, comment down below. When it comes to chronographs, do you prefer a bicompax or a triple register? I'm starting to lean more towards bicompax because of the inherent clean symmetrical look. This dial showcases a pristine matte white panda design and it's got four circular hour markers on the left and right side. The symmetry is accentuated by two keystone indices, the 12 and the 6 o'clock. Now functionality wise, it's a 30 minute chronograph and the subdial is at three. And take note, the minute changeover executes a jump rather than a smooth glide. Complementing this is a running second subdial located at the nine o'clock. The chapter ring HVD logo and Spectre Diver are all printed in black for great contrast and legibility. And I love the splash of blue on the arrow tipped sweep hand and the word chronograph above the six o'clock. The loom is pure white in daylight, which suits this dial well, and it's Swiss Super Luminova BGW9. Powering this Spectre, the ST19 column wheel chronograph based on the Venus 175. This one is a low beat 21.6 VPH 22 joules, no hacking, and of course, it's a hand winding mechanical with 42 hours of power reserve. The tactile feel is crispy with start stop, but on the reset pusher, I find it a bit mushy. HVD does go the extra mile and double regulates this movement before the casing and after. That is much appreciated for those of us who love accuracy. Okay, so you're convinced you want to buy this thing. Well, head over to Kickstarter when this video is over links down below in the description and you can pick one up for only $3.99 USD. After the Kickstarter campaign, the retail will be $4.99. And if you're wary of Kickstarters, don't be. HVD is the sister brand to RZE, so you know they will deliver. And one last thing guys, before you make the jump, please make sure to like this video. And if you want to watch more reviews like this one, then go ahead and click into one of the two videos I have for you on the right of your screen right now, and I'll see you there.